Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back, 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 back to the finale of season one. And man, it's been a journey. Now that I'm thinking back, like it has been a hell of a journey to go ahead and get started and like everything that we've gone through. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the reason why I decided to go ahead and film one after another after another, for those of you that are unaware, is because I didn't want to get spoiled for the ending, you know, especially for season one, since I know a lot of people get really excited and they sometimes give off more than they should, right? And this way, if people do have any comments about season one, I'm not afraid to look at them and I can look at them and be okay. But yeah, please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, join our discord you know come and have fun with us we'll be having a couple of game nights coming up pretty soon here um and yeah no leave any recommendations for any anime video games that you guys wish to see me go ahead and analyze in the future and let's get a hype train going it's the last episode You see, I love the fact that even Wilhelm understands this, and I'm guessing that he's also acting on, like, Subaru's demands, not demands, but, like, his suggestions, like, hey, you know, be nice to her, be kind to her, because she'll try and be helpful whenever she can, which is great, but, you know, in situations like this, she should be taking more care of herself. Guys, and this is, like, something that, like, I was thinking throughout the episodes, is what happened? Did the guy blow himself up that one, like, the previous run-through, when, like, Subaru, like, and Felix were there, and, like, uh, the fire spirit came out and like protected him was that him or like was there like something that made the explosion happen so that's always interesting or worth noting <laughs> well home didn't wait mm -mm. oh there we go get the hype up Damn. Isn't there a blind spot though for him as well? I don't think they're making fun of you, dude, as much as they're actually. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Go, go. Ooh, ooh. Wait, one hit kill? Let's go. Okay, he's still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> Is that game? Oh no, the transference. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to do? Oh, he's actually going to show her? No way. Oh, tinfoil hat moment. Everyone, get your tinfoil hats on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. And is that Amelia? Wow. Do it. Do it. Finish it. Double tap. You weren't... You were a bad guy, but you weren't, like... I don't know. Oh, no. That's a lot to take in. That's a lot to analyze in of itself. So, let me go ahead and just try and break that down, right? Like, first off, right, I think that kind of, and I think I might be trying to find, this might be my own bias at this point, where I'm trying to find places to actually fit the narrative that I'm trying to construct. But 
I feel as though there's two different versions of him living inside that, like, his body, right? Um, so I wonder, right, if the witch in particular is, I don't know, like, she didn't seem th thrilled. So did she really choose him? Like, that's sort of the thing. It's like, you can be, I don't know. It's, I have so many questions. And also, that sounded like Amelia. So is it like a relative? Is it someone that, like, we know? Is it like... I don't know, a grandmother, if it's like 400 years ago or something. Like, I'm just throwing this out there. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't spoil anything if it's in season two, please. And we'll keep going. Wow. I didn't expect this to be over so quickly. Yeah, you guys still got stuff to clear up. Oh. Wait. So essentially, there's a bomb in one of the carriages. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh no. No oh, restart? <laughs> oh no. Is that the Youngling Slayer 9000? Like, damn. Okay, so it was just like the magic stones. How? Yeah, how are you going to do it? Oh. <laughs> Did you guys see that dragon interaction just there? I'm not sure if you guys will be able to because of the, the pattern that we have to set up because of copyright reasons. But essentially, the ground dragons were looking at one another, and Patrash was like, I can probably do it. And the other dragon was like, uh. that's, a, that's funny because like, even the interactions between the dragons actually have symbolism and meaning in this. Oh. He has friends. I'm so proud. Remind me, I'll go into a theory about his friends and connections in the future. Wait, how does he know this? Soul of language. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's just destroying everything. Wait, what? No. Oh, no. Oh. What the fuck? Is that just his soul? So is his soul just like literally on a rampage going through this? Like, what, what's going on? And also, like, are there other Witch Cult members fighting out here? And, like, can he transfer his soul onto them? Or were they out of range? Oh, damn, they are. <laughs> oh. Someone... My boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the creepiest thing in the world. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What if all of these Sin Archbishops in a way are not just like a lesson for Subaru, now that I'm thinking about this, but like, for example, Sloth, right? And assuming that there are others, like the major sins, just logically, what if they're a test in order for him to like come from an individual that literally like had nothing in terms of like, other than like his pride, I guess, or, you know, what motivates him to try and like better himself or whatever, right? But, like, by defeating Sloth, he's, like, starting to become more of a hard worker, more of a diligent worker. Uh, by defeating so on and so forth, he starts gaining certain, uh, I guess, like, skills. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about this like a video game, essentially, where, like, he starts, like, gaining all these different abilities based on the people that he defeats. Not abilities, but, like, um, characteristics, like human character, right? So he's learning a lot about himself 
in the process of defeating Sloth, right? So, like, if another individual comes around and say that they're like, I don't know, Wrath or whatever it may be, right? And he defeats him, he learns, like, oh, you know, how to, like, control his emotions better or how to, like, so on and so forth. It just makes sense. It makes logical sense for me, at least, to, like, to go ahead and see this. But this is creepy, guys. And I told you guys this in the previous episode. If I saw a body like that, it's creeping me out really bad. How do you defeat this thing now? Home stretch. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. What is that called in Yu Yu Hakusho? Spirit gun, I think. Oh, I think he just wants the gospel, yeah? We'll burn it up. What's he gonna do? Nothing. Wait, what did she do for you? I'm cu what? Oh. Just punched up. Oh. Wait. What does that mean, guys? What do you read in the book? What? 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 Because that was all in Japanese. Uh, what did that say? Oh. Now it feels like the big bad is gone, you know? Oh. Wilhelm is such a amazing individual. <laughs> Who can stand in the way of a man going to see his woman? Or a partner going to go see their partner? Let's be real here. Hype train going here. Taking off from the station. Let's go. Is he finally going to say it? I have like goosebumps. Like just thinking about all the character development. Everything that's happened from season one. Or like episode one. To right now. It's amazing. <laughs> no. Because he loves you. <laughs> she turned down Rem because he loves you. As simple as that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he doesn't even have time to say anything. Wait. And like always, he's just treading off into danger. Oh my god. Isn't that like... Stronger than like a bomb? Like, stronger than a bob. Like, is strong enough to take out a village? Like, damn. No. <laughs> wow. And the crown dragon curled up to protect them too. Oh my god. I'm just sort of blown away because every single time, like, even in the face of like the worst things, he's just 
pushed and pushed through and pushed through. And even now, like, he's always sacrificing himself. And it's sometimes, like, you know, if I was, like, like, I would ask him, you know, like, what do you want for yourself? Not what do you want for others? Because he keeps putting himself in harm's way a lot. <laughs> She's all worried. Also, very poetic for it. Oh, the dragon took all the burn. The trash. Best dragon award. Wow. And I can just feel like the tension leaving my body. Like... Oh. Don't need to be so awkward about it. You're doing amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Not that long. Like a day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just thinking about, like, how this is probably going to go down in history. Like, it, you know, essentially being regarded as an individual that defeated the whale and also defeated one of the Sin Archbishops. That is huge. Like, if that doesn't get you into, like, a knighthood status, I don't know what will. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you you were something else back then, buddy. Oh. That you love her? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say it one more time. One more time. There we go. Ugh. It's so good. My heart. Now he's doing what Rem did to him. Why? This show. Now he's Remming her, quite literally, like... Oh. This is adorable. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, there we go, buddy. <laughs> Indulging it. Yeah, go on. Do what you gotta do. Oh. As a character, bro, you already have us, the audience, like... As a credit scroll. Wow. <laughs> I was actually thinking back to when I first started this series, and I was like, and I hate to like just switch the subject, but I was legitimately like, no one's going to watch this. Like, this is like an outdated show. No one really, you know, 
it's not current season or anything like that, but you know, thank you guys. Like the support and the fact that you guys are so involved in the community, commenting, liking, coming up with some crazy conspiracy theories and joining in on the fun has meant a lot. And yeah, I never expected like things to go the way that they've gone so far. And it's been such an adventure and such a journey. Um, to go ahead and do that and be a part of this community with you all. So yeah, this, this episode was a lot. It was a lot of like resolution, right? And while we're talking about resolution, I think one of the biggest resolutions aside from like the overarching theme of him finally being able to express his emotions towards Amelia is also him being able to get control, being able to express himself to his friends again, being able to like manage those ties that he had with Julius and everyone else and he has treated himself as sort of like the hero of the battle against the whale, the hero of the battle against like the archbishops, right? Or the witch cult. So he's establishing himself really, really well. And I think as an individual, right, when you're going through something like this and like, I can't imagine how tough it must've been for him first off, um, like to do this, but yeah. I'm just really excited. I'm excited to see where the show goes, especially for season two. Um, I'm excited to see Rem. I'm really excited to see like the relationships between all the characters grow. And oh, I think we've reached the end. Oh wait, never mind. There's an after credit scene. Wait. Okay, so we're getting. I'm guessing this is the teaser for season two, yeah. Oh, it's Otto. Oh. <laughs> The carriage ride home must be a little awkward. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Petra! <laughs> yeah, what? I wasn't ex okay. Oh, well, I hope she's more involved in season two. Like, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Even Julius did. Even to Otto, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Rem. You can't forget about her. She didn't. <laughs> what? Oh, the confession of feelings, right? Said it. That's the same. That's the same face that Ram. No. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck this show. What the fuck happened to Rem? No, 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 no. And you guys were left on that cliffhanger for four years? My heart is like a little destroyed. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that's rough, guys. That is rough. No wonder most of you guys were like, <laughs> we can't wait for you to reach the ending. <laughs> yeah, no. Screw you guys. Like, that's rough. That, that completely throws a lot of the theories that I had building up, like, just out the window again. Wow. Okay. Anyway. So, we'll see if I drop season two, or when I drop season two now. But, anyway. It has definitely been a ride. It has been a ride and a half. Um, you know, I really appreciate you guys. I'm not going to go any 
further into an analysis in Toy Story Season 2, just because I really want to take some time to process that, because that was a lot. Uh, and if I have any afterthoughts, I'll put it in a separate video, just afterthoughts of the season. I appreciate you guys so much. As always, practice some self-care. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below uh, what you guys felt, what you guys thought when that line came up, because... That took a lot out of me. I'll be honest. I, I wasn't expecting. Is the whale still alive? But we killed it. I wasn't expecting that. So please. Yeah. Hit that like button. Join our Discord. And we'll see when Season 2 drops. However, I will say this. Uh, a Silent Voice is coming up. And Attack on Titan Episode 1 is also coming up rather soon. So just bear that in mind. Season 2 will also drop. I'll keep that a secret, but it'll drop. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. Practice some self-care, and I'll talk to you guys next time.